Good afternoon, students and parents. Hope you're doing well. We're going to be looking at multiplication comparisons, some concrete examples in multiplication comparisons, and I hope you can try this at home. So we're asking the question, what are multiplication comparisons? So this is a little bit more in-depth explanation of that. We're going to use a concrete example for um, getting this idea across. And then in the next example, we're going to have some more abstract examples of how we use multiplication comparisons. Now, whenever we look at here, we see comparisons. In uh, English, in language, or in reading a book, sometimes we use this diagram. This is called a Venn diagram. We can use this for math also. And we're going to have this represent me, and this represent you. And this is going to be the unit, whatever we happen to be talking about. So in math, the numbers are going to be different, as you know, but the units are usually the same. So I'm going to use for units, pistachios. So let's say this, um, we're going to talk about how many pistachios there are. Okay. And I'm always going to have the least amount. So this circle over here is going to have less, the number is going to be smaller, than this circle over here. So it's always going to go from least to greatest. All right. So let's, um, you know how we do uh, a T diagram, T chart. We're going to kind of keep this one a little bit looser than usual. Uh, let's see, you're going to have more, so let me make this a little bit larger. And I want you to go ahead and follow along, but maybe you're going to use something different than pistachios. Maybe you'll, you'll use um, M&Ms, pick something small, Skittles, anything around the house, little rocks outside, it doesn't matter. And kind of follow along with, with me. This is going to be me. And this is going to be you over here. So let's say in our first example, I have one pistachio. And you have three pistachios. Now, in your previous grade levels, they would say, how many more pistachios do you have than me? And you would say, I have two more. You would make an addition problem out of it. You'd say, I have one, two, three, and you have, and I have one, and that would make it that you have two more. Or you could use subtraction and just take this one from that three. But in multiplication comparisons, we're comparing these two like things, these two pistachios, and we're using multiplication. So what would this actually look like? I'm going to show you over here what this would look like. If you need more time, always stop the video and um, Catch up. So let's say you have three and I have one. Okay. Now we're using the operation multiplication, not addition. So we're using operation multiplication. And I'm saying, hmm, how many times more pistachios do you have than me? You have three, I have one. What number over here? i use the blank for now. What number over here would make this equation true? If you said three, you're correct. And sure enough, you have three times as many pistachios as I do. This is one times, two times, three times. So that's what we're talking about when we're using multiplication comparisons. How would we write that out? You would say you have three times, I'm going to use the symbol, more pistachios than me. 
what would this look like in a ribbon diagram? So I'm going to go a little bit abstract over here. So here's our concrete. I'm going to go a little bit more abstract over here. Let's use a ribbon diagram. And where would these numbers go in our ribbon diagram? Do you remember? This one would certainly go up there, multiplication. This one's our largest, or almost our largest numbers, a little bit different this time. And we have to divide a ribbon into three equal parts. What number would go in each one of those? Can you figure out what number would go in there? We could put these pistachios inside there. We would have one in this box, one in that box, and one in that box. So when we get to the ribbon diagram and when we look at something concrete, we're really going to have to use our imagination sometimes. Let's look at another example. Let's say I have two pistachios and you have running out of room here. I should move this over a little bit. Let's move this over here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say you have this many pistachios. It's the same question over here. How many more pistachios do you have? We're going from least to greatest. Now, the number is getting a little bit larger, so we can't count each pistachio. That starts to not make too much sense. So that's why we're using multiplication. Multiplication is used when we use larger numbers. But over here, it's going to be the same. We're going to say Mr. Budinger has two, and you have how many? Let's use our skip counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Hmm. How many times greater, how many times more pistachios do you have than me? And let's use P for pistachios this time. We'll use that unknown in there. What would P equal to make this equation true? If you said 5, you're correct. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That gave us this number. And we multiplied these two five times. One times, two times, three times, four times, five times. So how would we write that out? I would say you have five times, I'll write this out this time, five times as many pistachios than me. I spelled pistachios incorrect there. How would we make a ribbon diagram out of this? Hmm. Well, it had to be five times, so this would be five times up here. We have to divide this into five equal groups. That's kind of hard, but let's give it a shot. That's four lines we're going to have to put in here. One, two, three, four. Not bad. That came out pretty good. Uh, we have ten altogether, or you have ten. That all together doesn't work so well here, does it? What number will we put in each one of these equal boxes? Well, here they are right here. We're going to put two. Let's try one last one. See if we can squeeze this in here. Let's say I have three pistachios. Trying to put these in equal groups it makes it a little bit easier, huh? <clears throat> So let's say you have three, I have three pistachios, and you have this many pistachios. 
How many is here? Well, we could easily see that there's nine here. We're using small numbers right now. So I have three and you have nine. How many times more pistachios do you have than I, than me? I'm gonna use P again. What would P equal to make this equation true? If you said three, you're correct. So in this example, you have three times as many pistachios, or I can put three times, three times more. Let's just change it up a little bit. These are all essentially meaning the same thing. I want you to get used to both this vocabulary. Three times more pistachios. Let's see if I could spell it correctly this time. Then me. And how would we represent this in a ribbon diagram? Well, we'd have our three times up here, right? So we have to divide this into three equal parts. And nine's down here. I'm running out of space. I think I could squeeze that in there. What would go in each one of these equal parts? Well, we have three, three, and three. This is one times three, two times three, three times three. So I hope you can find something at home that you can make models with, something small that you can follow along with these notes. Um, this part, you don't have to send back. This is just an example, a concrete example of what we mean when we're talking about multiplication comparisons.